All right, here we go, day four. It's time for a workout. You ready to keep your intensity up, get your heart rate going, get a sweat going? We're gonna do a point pattern with all our strokes with a lot of energy. I'm gonna take you through a workout you should be able to do in any space. Um, make sure you have your jump rope, a tennis ball, your racket. And also, if you'd like to, optional, I'm gonna send you along a motivational video along with this one, one of my favorites. It's a Nike commercial. I um, hope you enjoy it, I hope it gets you pumped up. And let's get this day going. Okay, so for today's kind of fitness oriented uh, class, you're gonna need to be at a beach in Hawaii. I'm just kidding, you don't actually have to be at a beach in Hawaii, but you do need a little bit of safe space to work in, and you are gonna need to do a little bit of a warm up. So I just want you to do this, these exercises um, just to get your body flowing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jog in place for 20 seconds. We're gonna sidestep back and forth 20 seconds. We're gonna karaoke 30, 20 seconds, and then we're gonna do 20 seconds of jumping jacks. And you're gonna repeat this three times and then you're gonna be ready to go. So, jog in place, 20 seconds. Twelve, 11, 10, nine. Make sure you get those knees up. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna sidestep back and forth in my area for 20 seconds. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I'm gonna karaoke step in my space. 20 seconds in front behind over under karaoke also called crossover steps four three two one now I'm gonna do 20 seconds of jumping jacks Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Good technique on those jumping jacks. Okay. Once you've done that three times, you'll be warmed up and ready to go. We're gonna do a very diverse, dynamic shadow swing point pattern of all our strokes, or most of your strokes. And then after that, we're gonna do another quick off-court tennis workout, some of which you've done in other classes, but we're gonna kind of pull it all together and do a little off-court workout. You ready? Here we go. Okay, so now it's time for kind of our final singles point pattern combination. We're really gonna emphasize an approach shot. It's a ball you're trying to move through more, trying to play more for position on the volley. Um, but we're also gonna incorporate all the strokes we've done so far. So put yourself in a, use your imagination. You're out on the court, you're playing who you're, whoever your favorite singles pro player is and you gotta beat them. You're gonna start the point with a serve, boom. Okay, forehand ground stroke, recover back quick. Backhand ground stroke, deep cross court, recover back quick. You're gonna get a shorter, wider ball. You're gonna be running to get to it. It's gonna be lower. You're gonna play for position. Watch how I'm gonna go out wide, play it up the line, come to the net. Oh, it's a forehand volley. Oh, but they get it and lob me and go back and hit the overhead. So I did six total shots there. Each time it's gonna be six total shots. So that was an approach out wide. I moved through it and played it up the line. This approach is gonna be more in the middle. I'm gonna play it cross court. So I'm gonna start with a serve, Ooh. forehand ground stroke, backhand ground stroke, approach is more in the middle of the court, I'm gonna move through it, do a backhand volley, go back and hit the overhead. All right, that's two. Now backhand approach shots. You can start with a serve, forehand ground stroke, backhand ground stroke, out wide backhand approach up the line, Backhand volley, oh they got it, 
finish it off with an overhead. And one more, backhand approach more in the center of the court. After I earn it, backhand approach, cross court, move through it, forehand volley, go back, overhead. Okay, those are your four different uh, point patterns that you're gonna be doing today. Do each one four times, so that's a total of 16 rounds. Lots of intensity, really go for it, take good swings at the same time. Use your imagination, and that will complete this exercise. Okay, here's the uh, fitness series that we're gonna do. Again, you've done all of these in previous ones, but we're just gonna put them all together, make sure we get a really good workout. I got my jump rope, I got a tennis ball, a racket. You don't really need a second racket, but I have it there just to save some time. Um, I'm gonna jump rope, we're gonna do a series. Jump rope, 45 seconds. Then you're gonna come into your racket handle jumps. Feet together, you're gonna do that 16 times in a row. Then you're gonna go right into, whoops. Then you're gonna go right into the to toe touches on the ball. Remember, you have to physically touch the ball back and forth like that 16 times, okay? And then finally, you're gonna do 10 knee touch plyometric shadow swing low volleys. Get that knee close to the ground. You're gonna do that 10 times, and then you'll have completed your first series. You gotta do the series five times, and then you will have completed the workout. Okay, so let's do it together, first time. Let's go 45 seconds jump rope. 45, 43, 42, 40, 39, 38, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 8, 27, 6, 25, 4, 23, 2, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 18, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, 16 racket handle jumps. 15. One, toe touch, 16, one, three, four, six, 15, 15, 16, and then 10 low volleys, one, jumping back up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Okay, that's a series. You gotta do that five times, and you will have completed today's exercises. Great job.